Hello everyone and welcome to the Sudden Dandelion. What is the Sudden Dandelion? I don't know. It just kind of rolls up the tongue, at least for me, and it kind of sounds like Sudden Death Beam. Maybe, I don't know. So, for this move set, Divinity Unleashed, Drain Charge, Mighty Explosive Wave, and Sudden Death Beam as my four supers. Super Saiyan and Hyper Movements was a surprise, I know, as my transformation and evasive. And for my two ultimates, I have Last Emperor and Emperor's Death Beam. So the reason why I'm running Drain Charge is because, well, with Drain Charge, it's one of the three drain attacks. I guess like the Android attacks, maybe, but Drain Charge just drains your opponent's key, so it doesn't drain their stamina or both, you know, just their key. And given that I'm running Emperor's Death Beam, I was thinking, well, I've got Divinity Unleashed, Maybe I should go for a, you know, drain charge to try and get, you know, as much key as possible and to have max key at all times if possible. So that way I can go for either stamina break or even just breaking my opponent's guard, you know, by perfect blocking or, you know, smashing their guard when they go for an ultimate or something like that. Then go for the heavy uh, male sane uh, combo, or the basic one, then I can go for Empress Death Beam. But given that this is from the World Tournament, this was with limitations on, meaning everyone, myself included, will be set to level 50 and the QQ Bang I'm using gives me only 5 points, not 5 points, 5 bars of key. So Empress Death Beam, it's not going to last that long, but it will do a decent amount of damage for what it is. And with Empress Death Beam, I think I've said this before, but I could have sworn that when Zen of Us 2 first came out, it only required 3 bars of key to actually use, but no, it takes 5 bars, which I just didn't expect that at all, whatever. So, there's a few explosive wave attacks in the game as well. The one I'm using on this moveset is Mighty Explosive Wave, and you cannot prolong that. It's basically a miniature version, or like a miniaturized version of Super Key Explosion. And yes, there is a super attack called Key Explosion, but that one can be maintained or prolonged depending on how much key you have, but I consider really Mighty Explosive Wave to be like the miniature version of the Ultra Attack just because it does more damage, I think. And in my opinion, I just think it's better. I mean, it depends on, you know, it just depends on the situation. For example, in that Saverman video I did, if that's gone out yet, if not, whoops. Um, I'm glad that the Saverman I used actually had Key Explosion rather than Mighty Key Explosion. Say Key Explosion five more times, okay. So, I forgot what tools this guy's running, it's probably the coolest supernova, but it's actually getting quite close now, so I lock off, go off the last Emperor thinking, may not be expecting it, he avoids it, and with last Emperor you can only use it once per fight, and that's when you have low health, like I believe it's just flashing red health, and it takes no key stamina or health to actually use, but again, you can only use it when you have flashing red health, and it, you know, you can only use it once per fight. So it's getting really close now, he teleports there, or vanishes, sorry, of course he's going to do that, if he didn't I would have defeated him. I think I got for Mighty Explosive Wave here. Yes, I do. I lock up and go for it, and he went for Spirit Sword. I that hit me. That would have defeated me because I don't think I would have been able to recover enough stamina in enough time to actually vanish out of it. Damn, that was close. A very good game to that guy. Very, very good game indeed. So going to the second fight for this video. There's gonna be five fights in this video. This guy is running Breaker Energy Wave, which is kind of funny, and uh, um, Super Kick Explosion, which I've mentioned earlier. Um, I think that's a male, uh, sorry, a male, what? I believe that's a female Earthling, I want to say. Um, I can't remember. I Actually, I don't think I've ever, even back in Universe 1, I don't think I've ever made a female Earthling, even just to test them, or just to play around with them. Like I, yeah, that's, that's interesting, actually. I don't think I've ever done that. Oh, well, maybe I'll in the future if I get an idea for a character. So, yeah, I haven't really, you know, I just don't know them that much. So, what attacks is that? Of course, that's Ill Rain, but the um, power up, I believe it was... Burning Sun, wasn't it? It's Nova Shenron's uh, super. Oh, it's Pans, I don't know. No, Pans is prepared to be punished. Nova Shenron's that. And if I remember correctly, when you use it, you cannot use super or auto attacks. And I don't think you use your advice. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, it ran out, and that's hence why she went for the Kao King Combat Heart. But when you do use it, if I remember correctly, at least in Xenoverse 1, and I think it's the same as Xenoverse 2, but if you do use Fighting Sun, you can't use any. Attack, so you can't use a super, an ultimate, your evasive, and I don't think you can use transformation as well. So he basically seals your attacks. So there she goes for genocide shell, maybe just to cut some stamina. I mean, I think she had quite a lot beforehand, so I don't know if that was really worth it, but oh well. So yeah, I've got the super stain three here, and I do want to break her guard now. She goes for the cow can come on my heart. I move out of the way slightly, uh, and that must have been enough to, you know, move, you know, stop it from hitting me. And I just realized she's running Kyle King, so very nice, but I'm also thinking now. Well, you need to drop out of it. I don't think she's running Rise to Action or um, Charge Key Wave or whatever it is that recovers a tiny bit of stamina you know, by using one bar of key. 
But right now, she's got no stamina. She's in car can. She's screwed, basically. I go for the lights down and break. I don't think I defeat her, actually, before it recovers, do I? Um, yeah, I do. Okay, so for some reason, I thought I didn't. But, yeah, I mean, again, quite a nice fight. Got kind of close in some places, but using Kyle as your as the uh, transformation, I just don't think that was worth it in that situation. So this guy, Dragon Fist and Serious Bomb. So, I mean... Again, Serious Bomb is a very interesting attack in terms of like its perspective, if that makes sense. I believe it was introduced in... Well, it was in Xenoverse 1, but I believe it was a DLC 2 attack. And no one used it in Xenoverse 1, and people didn't use it in Xenoverse 2 until somewhat recently when it got patched in. Funnily enough, I think it was in DLC 2. Yeah, it's an attack that no one used when Xenoverse 2 first came out, but it's been, you know, it's been used quite a lot now. Well, I say a lot, you know, it's been used a fair amount. You know, very interesting. It's an attack that I thought wouldn't be used, um, given that no one used in Xenoverse 1, you know, but whatever, it's all good. So Brock, he got um, his guard there, got Super Saiyan 3. He got to Super Saiyan 3, I think it was. Yeah, Super Saiyan 3, because he had like five and a quarter bars of his own key, so it would have been Super Saiyan 3, not 2. Go for Sudden Death Beam. No, sorry, go for Impus Death Beam. Oh, I apologize. Damn. Um, yeah, I almost went for an internet there, so I do apologize. Like, hence why I stopped it. Um, I think, I'll, yeah, I put Brock there, because he's got, you know, that Mao Saiyan combo. Has a very specific pull, so I, I can typically perk block it. Go for do it to unleash twice, because why not? Thinking, well, he's probably not going to be able to break my guard, and even if I see him go for it, I can just try and maybe vanish or something. So, Empress Death Beam again, um, hits him with almost the entirety of it. Um, yeah, so it goes to Super Saiyan 3 there. He's got Max Key, goes to Dragon Fist, and fists me. Actually, do I vanish? Yeah, I vanish there. So, surprise enough, I vanish and I protect myself again with Dragon Fist as of right now. I don't know what well, I hope it gets uh, patched in this new expansion, this mysterious new expansion. And once again, by the time this video goes out, we may have information about that. I don't know. It may be else. Again, I just don't know. So I don't know when I'm going to announce it. And I don't know when I'm putting this video out. So just keep in mind that, you know, by the time this video, you know, this video goes out, they may have actually said that they're going to fix Dragon Fist so that you can vanish. Well, you can vanish, but. You know, it just depends if it's going to be successful or not. Um, but there, I did do it, and very nice. So yeah, there I jump, very disrespectful, kind of. Like, I love like, the basic melee stuff that you can do. Like, if you're on Mao saying you jump and click square or triangle, you'll go for, like, basic sledgehammer. Uh, it won't do nearly as much damage. It's just, like, the jump attack, like, if you're standing on the ground. So very nice. So there I go for the swing kick into Divinity of Release. I think I go for Max Key, and then... Oh, no, okay. So I thought I was going to go for Max Key into Super Saiyan 3. I don't think I've actually uh, got Drain Charge yet. Like, I mean, it's off roll. I think I do in a moment. Um, so yeah, he's going for Maximum Charge again. I don't really see what the point of that was, given he had almost Max Key. Like, I would have just tried... Like, if I was in his place, I would have probably, you know, either transformed more if I could, or just, you know, do some damage on me, or on him, whatever. You know, by the time my stamina would have recovered. I mean, he's got enough stamina now. I believe now I got Super Saiyan 3. No, I don't. I got straight into the Empress Death Beam. And I think I might go for Divinity Unleashed now, uh, given I've got no key at all, so it's like the best thing to do in my opinion. So I couldn't tell you why he goes for the Light Stone Break there, I mean, I'm just going to punish him for it, and I'll go for my own Light Stone Break, and finally, I get a successful Drain Charge, and that gives me Max Key. Go to Saiyan 3, Empress Death Beam, complete waste, um, yeah, just a complete waste there. Uh, going to Clash here, it's going to give me about 3 bars of key, just under 3 bars. Try to perk off there, if I did, that would have given me 4 bars, which would have been very nice. Uh, I don't know what happened there, like, I was just like, like... I think what happened there was kind of like... What happens if you both go for a throw at the exact same time, like, you'll cancel each other's throw out. Um, yeah, he's going for uh, maximum charge there. Again, I'm not too sure what he went for, because I may... Well, actually, he may have been to transform, I don't know, but he's Super Saiyan 3 now. Try to hit him with the sudden death beam, and again, right here, didn't work. He's blocking. I wish I saw it earlier. Well, okay, I'll... I was going to say I wish I saw it earlier so I could maybe try and go for a heavy smash, but I mean, I've got, you know, Brock has got the stamina break, so I believe from there it's going to be game, and I go for Emperor's Death Beam, and that's going to finish him off before his stamina recovers. Actually, no, it's not. I lied. I'm a filthy liar. I do apologize. I mean, I've got no key right now, but it doesn't matter given I broke his guard again. I vanished there. I don't know why. I just don't know why I vanished there. I mean, it worked out for me given he couldn't, well, he could move, but I was just attacking him too fast. You know, he couldn't do anything. So, yeah, great. Going to the final fight for this video. Um, Serious Bomb, yet again, and the full power energy wave volley. Very nice. The volley is very, in my opinion, is very underrated. If you can break your opponent's guard, or if they have got, like, maybe one bar of, of um, stamina, go for the swing kick, then immediately follow up with the full power energy wave volley. It'll connect pretty much every single volley of it, or, like, attack. 
and that will do a very respectable amount of damage. So again, fair play. I mean, if you go for a swing kick, when your opponent's got either a broken stamina guard or maybe one bar of stamina, swing kick into the full power energy uh, way volley, what it's called. I think it's just called full power energy volley, I don't know, but if you go, you know, do that, swing kick into it, it'll do, you know, it'll connect and it'll do a very nice amount of damage. Uh, especially if, if you're a saber man versus a saber man, you can pretty much get a um, KO there. So there you go, some potential unleashed, kind of sort of coming, went for hyper movement, broke his guard, and some unleashing infant step beam on him now. And I'm just doing like a basic combo. And again, I don't know why I vanished there. Um, there's no points, I and mean, I've got no stamina now. So I go for the swing kick. Kind of expecting to um, vanish there into some death beam. Very nice. The victim unleashed again. I think I transformed to the same three now. Uh, where I get a chance, I think I may. Or my hit team. Okay, so I was thinking I might hit team. Sorry, teleport. And I got Super Saiyan 3 that way. But no. Here, Impress Death Beam. Well, Swing Kick into Impress Death Beam. And that's the game. So thank you guys for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. And with that being said, I'll see you next time.